In this video, I'm gonna tell you how my fancy pedal works and how I use it when I'm performing. What's up, everybody? So I just got home and I was thinking about y'all and um, watching my videos and, and I know my channel is a little baby right now and it's just growing, but um, I was thinking about how you know, I use this pedal and there's really no explanation on how it works except for a few of the cuts to the feet and showing me push buttons. So I thought, why not make a video for you guys who may not know um, things about uh, you know modulation pedals and stuff like that and loopers. So I'm gonna make this video kind of short. I'm gonna try to keep it short. Um, it's called The Voice Life 3 and there's tons of videos on YouTube about it. Um, so you can, you can learn more about it that way, but this is gonna be a quick one about how I use it, um, how I have it set up for my performances, and also I wanted to show you this cool post-Christmas hat that I got for five bucks, cause it's awesome. Okay, let's go. Okay, here it is all fired up. Um, see, it's the Voice Live 3, and I've got some custom settings. Um, if I push this button here, this is how you go through your presets. And I have, you know, like, this is the main one I use. I have, um, right above it, a live harmony. So if I'm in the looper, which may not make sense to some of you, but if I'm inside the looper, I can switch presets while I'm in there, and then I can have harmonies and no harmonies. Just quick and easy, um, down is live bass. That turns my guitar into a bass. It makes it sound like a bass guitar. Um, this one has that distortion sound that um, actually works pretty well even with my acoustic uh, These are some presets like obviously for Taylor Swift there um, And stuff this is just different ones. I can sound like Barry White um, Which is funny and then Elvis is kind of cool um, If I'm doing other covers and things so anyway, so I mainly stay on this um this preset that I've made, this can kind of do anything that I need it to. Um, I'll show you these, all of these right here. Um, these six things oh, represent all six buttons that you kind of have um, to use. Uh, I have reverb set because I just kind of leave that on all the time. And I put it on a button that is harder to reach because I never have to touch it. Um, I put delay and harmony on this side so that I can uh, reach them easily. Um, I can push them at the same time and, and add both delay and harmony. Um, and then these, I'll explain a little bit later, but these have to do with the looper. So let's look at these buttons. So here, I know it's kind of dark, it's getting later, and it's snowy out, so the light isn't great. But um, So here we got harmony, and it's already set for harmony. Um, and it's a great button for that. It's just a good location, because your foot, when you're performing, it's just such an easy button to push, so I leave harmony there because um, I, I bring harmony in and out all the time when I'm performing. Uh, this one, you might hear snowblowers outside, uh, so excuse me with that, but anyway, because it's like super snowy out. It's awful in Indiana, but anyway. So um, this is, they've got this set for reverb, but I changed it to delay. That way with one foot, I can just boom, hit them both if I need to, or reach those pretty easily. Um, this is normally delay, but I've got it set up for the looper, and then this is where I've got my reverb. So that's that's the, the vocal stuff, and what this blue thing is is the vocal. Um, that means you're on the vocals. This whole pedal can do, um, it's a voice modulator, it's a pedal effects, or a guitar effects pedal, and then it's also a loop station. So when it's in blue, there's a little microphone here, um, that means you're in your vocal processor. If you click this button, it goes to red, and red, someone said red is for rock, so that's for the guitar there. That means that you're in your guitar stuff. So all of this display changed now. So all of these pertain to my guitar. Which, now I do a lot of acoustic stuff, so I don't need a lot here. But I've got it kind of if I need it, I guess. But anyway, so I just kind of have a compressor on the guitar to kind of even out, make, you know, if I'm playing soft, it brings it up a little bit. If I get really loud, it kind of brings it down. and kind of keeps things even for me. Um, so back to the, that goes back to the um, vocal. 
Now if I push this, I've got this button set up to take me to the looper. If you hold this button, it takes you to the looper. But I just find that holding that button is just too much to do when you're going live. So I've set this up to take me to the looper. So now I just, boom, push that button, I'm in the loop station. So here's what the looper looks like. And let me delete this real quick. So I've got, I must have something saved on there. So what this is, is you have a three track looper. So if I start to record something on A, which I'm not really recording and you won't hear, but so now I can set play or set overdub or even set stop, which I don't know who would do that. But anyway, so say I set and play it. Now that loop is playing. So now I can also record another one, a separate loop on B and say I just set play that too. Now I've got these two loops going. Okay, now to control those, a lot of times you gotta stay in here, but then that kind of hurts you when you're trying to um, bring harmonies in and out and change all these effects. So what I've done is switch back out of the looper and back into your vocal thing. And now I've got these three settings to control my looper from here. So I don't have to be in the looper. So this is how I use it. So say I've got two loops going and like in Don't Blame Me, I started with the kind of the choir mm sound and um, I had that on loop A. So if I push, if I push this button here, which represents this right here, if I push that, boom, well, I pushed it here, boom. Now just loop A is playing. And so then that plays that. And then when I want to say, put both loops in at the same time, I push this button, boom. And then that would activate both of the loops together. Okay, say I want to add harmony in when I'm singing the chorus or something. Now this lights up, I hit that. And now the harmonies are lit up. So that's how I get those harmony sounds. You know, even delay, you know, I think in Tenerife C I added delay in a spot. You know, I just push this button, I've got delays. You know, I could push them both at the same time, and I've got that. So, I know that's pretty confusing if you don't understand these pedals, but that's kind of how it works. So, when you hear loops cut in and out, you know, I'm pushing a couple of these buttons from this, you know, display. Um, to, to activate them or, or take them out or whatever. You know, if you hear all of a sudden I've got harmonies going, you know, I've pushed this button or some delay. You know, if you hear effects like that, um, that's what I'm actually doing and that's how it works. Sorry, I've been drinking coffee. So for some of you, I'm sorry if that was like really quick and complicated and even over your head. Um, like I said, you can you can look at other YouTube videos about the Voice Live 3 and hopefully get more of the basics and, and understand how that works a little bit better. Um, but, I mean, I just didn't want this video to be super long. Anyway, it's getting kind of long now as it is, so um, I'm just going to bid you adieu. Hope you have a great day. Hope you had a great holiday and everything. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave comments um, if you like this or if you want to know more. I, you can always shoot another video and, and actually show you like when I'm using it and, and talk a little bit more about it, maybe get into more detail and stuff. But um, I just wanted you guys to kind of know that like when I do these videos, I'm doing it in one take and everything that you hear is from that pedal and from my voice and my guitar and stuff. Like I'm not going back in and adding extra stuff. So it's all coming from that pedal and from me. So anyway, have a great one. Um, love you guys, keep watching videos. And yep, subscribe. Have a good one. Full house, cause you deal it. I'm out here telling everyone that my girl is the realest.